the new eco-friendly Easy Lamb Green 27-inch roll laminator. This unit is designed to provide years of trouble-free service. Your new Easy Lamb Green has a digital heat controller. Users can easily adjust the set temperature for the heat shoes to achieve the best quality lamination. The controller has been calibrated to accurately display the heat shoe temperature in the laminating range. The heater switch on the left side cover activates the controller. When the switch is turned on, the controller will flash a two-letter code and then display the heat shoe temperature. When the switch is on, the controller will send power to the heaters provided the set temperature is higher than the ambient temperature. For safety reasons, the machine was shipped with the set temperature at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Using the standby mode can help save energy. If you are not going to be laminating anything for a while but want to be able to laminate later without waiting for the machine to heat from room temperature, you can push the standby mode switch. The standby mode brings the machine down from a typical laminating temperature of 300 degrees to 150 degrees. When you are ready to laminate again, push the heater switch to on and the heaters will be back up to 300 degrees in about 7 minutes. To set the temperature on the controller, press and hold the appropriate arrow until the desired temperature is reached. Then press both arrows to save the setting. On the right side of the machine are the motor and timer reset switches. The motor switch has on, off, and reverse positions. To help further save energy, the machine comes equipped with a one hour auto shutoff. If the machine shuts off and you want to either begin or continue laminating, press the timer reset switch to reset the machine for one hour. Since the heaters will have to be back up to laminating temperature in order to continue laminating, turn the heater switch to on if necessary. Before we can laminate, we will need to load the rolls of film onto the machine. The following instructions apply to poly-in film rolls. These rolls have the shiny side out and the dull side in. Turn on the heater switch to allow the heat shoes to heat up. Remove the feed table. Load the top supply roll. Slide the film mandrel into the roll of film. Use the grooves in the mandrel to line up the edges of the film roll. If you are facing the front of the laminator, the film should unwind towards you from the bottom of the roll. Place the mandrel ends into the slots in the side plates of the laminator. Pull 6 inches to 12 inches of film from the roll. Lift the safety shield. Pass the film under the upper idler bar and drape over the heat shoes. Make sure the shiny side of the film is against the shoes. For the bottom supply roll, slide the film mandrel into the roll of film. Place the mandrel ends into the slots in the side plates of the laminator. If you are facing the front of the laminator, the film should unwind away from you from the bottom of the roll. Pull 6 inches to 12 inches of film from the roll. Pass the film under the lower idler bar and over the front of the top film and the heat shoes. Since the heat shoes are hot, the bottom film will adhere to the top film. Return the feed table to its proper position. Turn the motor switch to the on position and feed your starter card through the front rollers. Check to make sure the card runs completely through the back rollers. Return the safety shield to the down position. If the film is wrinkled, adjust the tension on the rollers by turning the mandrel tension adjustment knob, clockwise to increase, counterclockwise to decrease, until the film passes through the heat shoes without wrinkles and the film between the laminating and pull rollers is tight. Make sure the paper guide on the feed table is located so that the right edge of the item will enter the laminator at the desired position. The machine is now ready to begin laminating. Simply feed your documents into the laminator one at a time, allowing enough space between documents for trimming.
When you are done laminating, turn the motor switch to off and use the supplied zippy cutter to cut off the laminated documents. Unloading the film is the reverse of loading it. Remove the feed table. Make sure the motor switch is off and if you will not be using the laminator again for a while, set the heaters on standby mode. Use the zippy cutter to cut the film between the bottom supply roll and the heat shoe. Cut the film between the top supply roll and the heat shoe. Place the safety shield in the up position. Grab the top and bottom film with one hand and pull towards yourself while reversing the motor. The power fuse is located at the rear of the machine. Remove the fuse holder. Remove the fuse. Replace with a fresh 15 amp fuse. The motor fuse is located on the opposite side of the machine. You will need a screwdriver to remove this fuse holder. Remove the fuse holder. Remove the fuse and replace with a fresh 3 quarter amp fuse.